I'm home court, she's standing trial. Why ain't I see you round by when I'm So let me ask you, do you believe that all of this aftermath started from the disagreement? Well, I guess Tupac getting shot is that that was the precipice for all of this. Do you think that that's where it all went bad? I think it started with Jake Robles in Atlanta. Oh, that was right. where it really went. That's when, when blood was first spilled. Okay. Thing, it was a war of words. But that was and then Jake Row in Bad Boy? Yeah. Was it? Okay. So Jake Robles was Shug's, a good friend of Shug's, okay. uh, and he, he was uh, another uh, gang member who was around them. But Jake was very interested in the business mm-hmm. and was learning, was kind of trying to, he was really Suge's business protege in mm-hmm. addition to everything else. And he and Suge were in Atlanta for a birthday party at a club, and Bad Boy was there. Mm-hmm. And there's a dispute over girls mm-hmm. that spills out outside, and um, somebody pulls a gun and shoots Jake Robles, and he's he's mortally wounded. Uh, he lived for another few weeks, but eventually, you know, succumbed to his injuries. Mm-hmm. And I that and Suge blamed that on I think Puffy's bodyguard, a guy Wolf. named Wolf. Yep. Okay. Anthony Wolf Jones. And so that that's so that at that point it's like okay. That's where it's now it's serious. Okay. And then you have the Anthony Bell beating in L.A. Mm-hmm. which Anthony Bell was a promoter who was friends with Puffy. I think they'd grown up together or gone to school together. Mm-hmm. And Anthony, so they knew that. So what happened there was Anthony Bell first, I think he gets invited to Death Row's offices for under the auspices of a meeting. Mm-hmm. But in the lobby, he's offered money if they'll give up the address where Puffy stays when he comes out to L.A. Mm-hmm. And he, he, re, he refuses. So they're like, hey, we're having a Christmas party, you know, tonight or tomorrow. Mm-hmm. Uh, you'll come out to the party. And that's when it's kind of like, okay, you know, we tried to lure you with honey. Now we're going to beat it out of you. Mm. And they take him upstairs, Suge and some of the uh, gangsters take him upstairs, and they beat him up and trying to get this information out of him. And he ends up running and jumping off like a balcony mm-hmm. and just as police are arriving because a friend had noticed, had mm-hmm. seen him go up there and was like, oh no, like mm-hmm. this is bad. And police show up and he doesn't make a report. He just wants to get out of there mm-hmm. and he leaves. And then later on he makes a report and I think there was a, a lawsuit and a settlement mm-hmm. for that situation. I didn't know about that situation. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, they showed it, they showed it uh, dramatized in a couple of different movies. Yeah, Unsolved had it, yeah. Unsolved had it too, yeah. where they invite him in the room and they shut the door. Uh-huh. And, mm. Yeah. Wow. And it's the air in trouble now, you know. And he, uh, uh, and I think that that escalated things further because now yeah. Puff knows. Look, yeah. they're not trying to find out my address in L.A. because exactly. they want to send me a gift basket. Exactly. Like, what's this about? Like, how how is how far is this going to go? Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Wow. So that same shooting in Atlanta where Wolf killed Robles, um, is that the same shooting that Big Meech got shot as well? I don't believe so. No. Okay. No, there was just one shoot. Robles okay. was the only one who got shot that okay. night. Yeah. Okay. 